masculinity that they're talking about. And in the long term, when you are telling young people that if you work for someone, you are a slave, and you amount to nothing, and you will not be able to get married to a woman that is worth anything because you are not top G. This language. You are feeding them a recipe for their disaster in the long term. Because it is possible Allah Azza wa decrees for them that they do not become wealthy. What? And then they're going to become depressed. They're going to then despise life and be miserable. Again, you see the danger in these messages. But Allah looks at your hearts and your actions. Yes, your hearts and your actions. And every Muslim believes that the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, was the best man and the best example of manhood and masculinity. So therefore, if we want to test our manhood and our masculinity, then we have to measure ourselves in light of the prophetic sunnah, the prophetic way of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ikhwan, manhood is not judged based upon wealth. For example, again, that message is toxic masculinity. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam educated the ummah to not be deceived by outward appearances. Person may be large and huge and have many muscles, but in the sight of Allah, they're worthless.